हेलो गाइस माई सेल्फ अमृता वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टेक्नोसेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज रोमन टू इंटीजर सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम रोमन न्यूमिरल्स आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सेवन डिफरेंट सिंबल्स दैट इज आई वी एक्स एल सी डी एंड एम सो हेयर यू कैन सी सिंबल एंड वैल्यूज सो सिंबल आई हैज अ वैल्यू वन वी इज फाइव एक्स इज टेन एल इज फिफ्टी C is hundred, D is five hundred, and M is thousand. So these are the seven different symbols having the values, and using these seven symbols, we can form any number. So let's understand how we are going to form different integer values using these seven symbols. So let's first write the symbols with the values. I is one, V is five, X is ten, L is fifty. C is hundred, D is five hundred, and M is thousand. So these seven symbols with the values you can form any particular integer. So let's say I want to form a number three. So I is your one. One plus one plus one is three, right? So three times you have to write I. So it would be one plus one plus one, which will be equals to three, right? So let's say you want to form a number eleven. So that would be ten plus one. Ten plus one is eleven. Correct. So now this is when your first symbol value is greater than the next one. So x is ten, i is one. If ten is greater than one, you are going to add the values, right? So if I write it, i x. Then i is your one, x is your ten. Sorry, i one is less than ten, right? So when one is less than ten, you are going to say ten minus one instead of plus one, which would be equals to nine. Similarly, let's say if I want to write a number six, then it would be five plus one. Five plus one is six because five is greater than one. And if I want to write a number four, that would be a five minus one. So if the first value is less than the next value, since one is less than five, the first value will be considered as the negative value minus one plus five, which would be equals to four. Correct. So let's say if I want to write a number ninety. Ninety would be hundred minus ten, so hundred is C. And minus ten, how you are going to do? You have to write the symbol of ten before C. So X C, right? X is your C is your hundred, and X will be considered as a minus ten since ten is less than hundred. You can write it minus ten plus hundred, or you can say hundred minus ten is ninety. Correct. So this is how you have to form the numbers. Now let's understand the symbols which have been given in your problem statement. So the first one is three. I have already told you how three is formed. Let's take the second example that is L V I I N I. Let's say your string is L V I I N I. Right. So let's write the values first. L is your fifty. V is your five. I is one. I is one. I is one. So as I had told you that if I am writing V I, what we have to do? We have to compare the values of both. Right. We are we are checking whether five is greater than one or less than one, and then based on that we were adding or subtracting so here also we want to compare two values so what we will do to make it more understandable we will start from the end so at the end what what is this one one you can add at as it is last value because you don't have any value to compare it with the next value again one one is equals to one so you can add one is equals to one you can add Now here it is five, five and one. You have to compare these two values. 
फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन वन वेन इट इज ग्रेटर देन वन यू हैव टू सब्रैक्ट राइट सॉरी यू हैव टू एड अगेन फिफ्टी इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव राइट ऑलवेज कंपेयर इट विद द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू फिफ्टी इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव सो यू कैन एड फिफ्टी सो आर आंसर वुड बी फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन एंड फिफ्टी एट सो दिस विड बी योर आउटपुट लेट्स टेक द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल सो द थर्ड वन इज एम सी एम एक्स सी आई वी सो वॉट इज दैट एम सी एम एक्स सी आई वी लेट्स राइट द वैल्यूज फर्स्ट एम इज थाउजेंड सी इज हंड्रेड एम इज अगेन थाउजेंड एक्स इज टेन सी इज हंड्रेड आई इज वन एंड वी इज फाइव so let's start from the end v is your 5 again 1 1 is less than 5 so 1 would be subtracted minus 1 right 100 is greater than 1 so 100 plus sorry x is 10 10 is less than 100 so 10 would be minus 10 Thousand is greater than ten, so it would be plus thousand. Hundred is less than thousand, so hundred would be minus hundred. Plus thousand is greater than hundred, so it would be thousand. Correct. So your answer would be thousand plus nine hundred plus ninety plus four. so your output would be 1994 in this case right you can also start from the front so this is how we need to compare the values you can also start from the front but to make it more understandable i have started it from the end so now let's understand it in the programmatical way let's write a program so this is our class that is roman to integer now let's write our method that would be public static and return type is int let's take the name as roman to integer and our input would be string s correct so now so now to convert roman to integer what we need we need those seven symbols with their values right so we need to store those seven symbols and the value so to store that we will use hash map why hash map because hash map is a key value pair data structure and here we have to store both key and the value key is your character which is your symbol and the value is integer right hm new hash map character comma integer sorry it's comma now we are going to put those seven symbols with their values to the hash map using your put function hm dot put and first value is i and value is 1 let's copy it seven times because we have to save the seven values right i is 1 v is 5 x is 10 l is 50 c is 100 d is 500 m is 1000 right so once all these seven values are stored we have to iterate through the string right so for that we are going to use for loop but let's take first one integer to store the result and what would be the value of that result so here you can see we have to first store this particular symbols value in your 
result because we don't have to compare this value with any next value correct so this value would be your hm dot get s dot caret s dot length minus one correct the last value and then we are going to start our loop from the second value from the end which would be s dot length minus two i greater than equals to zero i minus minus correct and what we need to check if hm dot get s dot caret i is less than the next value what is your next value s dot caret i plus 1 correct if it is less then what we need to subtract that particular value right result minus hm dot get s dot caret i and if it is greater or equal that means else one parenthesis is missing here else result would be result plus hm dot get s dot caret i so in that case we need to add that particular value and at the end we are going to return our result now let's go back to our main function let's take the string s let's test it with the first value i i i let's write our print statement s let's run the program and see the output so what would be the output output should be 3 so the output is 3 let's take another example that was l b i i i so which is 58 which is the correct output and the third example is m c m x c i v and the output should be 1994 so the output is 1100 which is wrong output so we need to check what mistake did we do So here you can see instead of minus, I have written equals to. It should be minus. Now let's run the program and see the output. So now the output is nineteen ninety four, which is a correct output. In the other two cases, since we had to just add the values and there was no sub subtraction, so it didn't go to this particular statement and it gave the correct output. so this is how we need to solve this problem i hope you understood the solution now let's go back to our lead code and run it so let's copy the code here and let's run the program so you can see that it is accepted and run time is 0 millisecond so you can submit the code so the time complexity of this approach is o of n since we are using only one loop and space complexity also would be o of n since we are using hash map to store the values i hope you understood the solution if you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comment section and stay tuned for more lead code problems thank you for watching